Hello and thank you for watching. This is a short tutorial on Dozen a Day. This is from the Green Book, and the Green Book is actually the third book. The pink one is called the Mini Book, then there's the Blue Book, Preparatory Book, and then you have the Green Book, which is book one. So we're going to start with group one, walking and running. Lots to learn from all of these exercises. First thing we want to do is get a nice hand position, nice bridge here, nice curves at the first knuckle. So in this, I like to encourage you to explore how your fingers and wrists are working together as the notes change. So when we have quarter notes, we're gonna roll up our wrist on every single one. This is for the legato version, by the way. Then when we get to the eighth notes, we're gonna group those together. So two notes are gonna roll up with one wrist roll. when we get to the 16th, we're going to put four notes in one roll up. So it'll feel like this. Down, up, 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 up,
to the flow of the wrist, getting up and down, ready to reset for the chords, and we're paying attention to the place on which the chords are played. Let's do it one more time. So we're gonna roll, up, reset, resetting low for the chords. I like to get used to a really slow roll up so that you're always flowing with the music and you don't just stop. This is group one, exercise five. I love this one because we get to use the pedal and we get to reach way down to the low part of the piano. So what we want to focus on as we're doing this exercise is rolling up and as you roll off that chord, you're going to be moving back and forth. The pedal is going to be your friend here because it's helping you move. When you move, so it's almost like your left hand is playing a little bit of a shorter note and moving because the pedal is going to hold that sound for you. So if I just go like this, no pedal, that doesn't sound like a half note. But if I put the pedal on, move, play, move. Switch the pedal. time. So we've got play, move, play, move up, play, move down to G, then fast, fast, moves. Always thinking about the roll-ups for the right hand chords and matching the roll-ups between the hands. Here is number six, stretching. This has lots of things in here. It's the roll-ups, the distance of an octave, the eighth notes that where you can feel two notes with one wrist and even a crossover at the end. So let's start. So roll up and move. The release is going to move you to the next position. Then we have one, two, two notes. gestures and cross over with finger two. Sometimes people want to cross with one. I don't think so. Two or three. Here is group one, exercise seven, stretching the right leg up. Your thumb is the left leg, which is standing on the ground. And then your pinky is your right leg, which is stretching higher and higher each time. So just don't play the staccati too hard. You're just touching with the tip of your pinky very gently. So we're going to hold, touch, 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 left legs firmly on the ground. Keep the rest of your hand relaxed. Now, if you cannot get an octave, if you're someone with a smaller hand, then just go back and forth between G and A. Is group one exercise eight this is stretching the left leg I like to show this one from the top so you can see a different view for the same exercise what you'll notice in this top view is that the hand kind of curves out towards the left it kind of fans out as you're stretching we don't want to stretch like this that creates tension but if we can keep the hand feeling nice and loose as we stretch out it'll make us faster and more versatile I'm gonna hold this this is your right leg this time the left hands touching. Two, three, four. Again, if you can't stretch that far, just go back and forth between F and E. Here is group one, exercise nine. This one is fun because you get to do the pedal. You get to do crossovers. In fact, the last crossover you will not be able to see on this video, but just know that it ends on a super duper high C. So we're going to be in C position. And I want you to watch my wrist as I play these. We're gonna roll through. And 
then do this with two. Here's a G7 chord, switch the pedal, and then it's a D on the top, then roll through, roll, getting out of the screen, cross with two. So this one's about the rolling of the wrist. We don't want to play it like this, kind of straight. Always with the flow. Here is group one, number 10, the splits. This is for scales in contrary motion. Your fingers are going to switch at the same time. I usually teach this with a bounce of the wrist on every one, and we want to play this one on the tip part of your finger, not so much the pad, but the top of the pad. So let's go ahead. number 10 staccato. We're going to keep our hand in a nice form, nice bridge, nice curvature, and we're just going to touch tips of our fingers. Be mindful when you have your thumbs together. This is group one number 11 standing on head this is for parallel motion scales so scales going in the same direction they feel different because the left hand scale starts on the pinky the right hand starts on the thumb but we'll always be mindful of what's going on finger three because with one hand that's where something's going to happen so we'll roll up on the wrist on every one this time Here is the staccato version, so feel nice and floppy, but with a firm hand on the staccati, and then play the half notes legato. Here we go. Touch, right hand under, left hand over. One, and two, and three, and nice and loose. Here we go. Loose, touch. And two, and three, loose, touch for the staccati. group one number 12 fit as a fiddle and ready to go <clears throat> you can alternate between feeling groups of two eighth notes and four eighth notes on this one usually I'll have the student play twice through with the legato just to feel both of those so let's do it that way first so we'll feel down up Time, but now we'll feel a group of four for the up. So down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, up, up. They each get their own wrist. Down, up, 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 down, up, 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 and big roll up. Then staccato is all about the loose wrist and touching. The other hand is not staccato. Whoever has the chords is not staccato. So.
for watching this tutorial on Dozen a Day Green Book Book 1, and this was Group 1. I hope you found it helpful, and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I have lots of videos on piano technique, piano exercises, piano theory. Thanks for watching.